Welcome to Apple's uh, fifth generation iPod Nano. Today we are unboxing and uh, we'll go over some of the uh, new features uh, incorporated into the new model <coughs> as per typical uh, Apple uh, iPod products. It, it does come uh, in a clear acrylic case <coughs> and uh, we are reviewing the 16 gigabyte model today in a the uh, metallic and polished green. So without further ado, let's see what's on here. <coughs> so we'll just go through some of the contents we've got the nano itself. Got a Interesting start here guide. Got your <coughs> 3.5 mm uh, headphone jack uh, headset. What appears to be a small docking adapter. So that fits right in there, right there. <coughs> the everything in one cable uh, except for AV out uh, what you get is the <coughs> Apple business end and the standard uh, USB jack <coughs> so you can uh, perform uh, charging of the nano itself and syncing via this cable so let's just put all that away there so let's get into some of the features of the fifth gen nano Basically, um, we are presented with a new 2.2-inch um, uh, LCD screen. And on the back, you'll see there is a new um, digital video camera with the, the microphone uh, just beside it there. Uh, the 3.5 mm jack on the bottom. And the slider switch for uh, putting that on hold. Okay, so let's uh, power it up here, and what we get inside is your usual uh, menu options, again navigated using the click wheel, so it's very straightforward as per the operation. Um, I am a X uh, third gen iPod user. So I, I may not be uh, completely familiar with some of the, the features inside here, um, but I think it's quite straightforward. We've got music. Uh, again, this is a new unit, so uh, there are no songs currently synchronized. Uh, videos. Um, I have been playing with this actually, so the, uh, the unit does have some video present already, so my unboxing is not a clean new unbox. Um, we've got photos and uh, it's nice that on the bottom here it does indicate uh, uh, some specific information but in this case uh, zero photos uh, podcast zero podcast uh, one of the new features a built-in FM tuner I think uh, a lot of people will enjoy this um, because um, it, it does uh, pay to stay in touch with the news so that's a nice new function um, this is the digital video camera uh, menu option there uh, some extras um, yes there is an extra in here it is a built-in uh, pedometer um, which is natural in, in the case that it does have an accelerometer so it should know when you are uh, taking a step or, or jogging or, or such okay um, the additional extra since it does have a, a microphone in the bottom here now it does have the ability to do, to do uh, voice memos. So that's quite cool. Uh, you can see uh, a nice uh, VU meter uh, device there. If I tap on here, I'm sure it will uh, register as well. Okay, so that's a nice uh, new function. And um, of course, you have your typical uh, settings and uh, ability to shuffle songs. Uh, the settings does give a nice uh, information readout there that uh, there's 14.9 gigabytes uh, free in this uh, 16 gigabyte model. It is available in um, an 8 gigabyte model, uh, so 
so they are they haven't really changed uh, the capacity size in that in that instance okay so without uh, holding back on the features let's uh, go into the video camera well let's uh, do the radio first uh, first thing you know uh, the radio doesn't function without um, a built-in without something being plugged into the uh, 3.5 mm jack that's really because the the wire uh, serves as partly the the antenna for the reception I don't have or it wouldn't make much sense to plug in a headphone jack you wouldn't be hearing the audio so I've taken the liberty to uh, prepare a uh, X mini here with the 3.5 mm let me just turn it on and uh, let's see what happens here do I have any audio I don't appear to have any audio that means that that good little old battery on here has passed off okay so that's what would happen with the radio signal if you don't have the radio signal um, the antenna plugged in you won't get the radio signal it does have um, preset functions okay it does uh, pick up the uh, information broadcast from the radio station in this case the radio station uh, call sign have uh, a new function uh, of the radio is uh, live pause which is very similar to if you're familiar with uh, uh, TV recording of time shifting so you can actually record the program and uh, rewind or, st or, or watch the program while it continues to record uh, the, the program okay that's the radio function Let's, uh, won't uh, bore you with any of the uh, local radio stations here okay so we've got the video camera up next we'll go into the video camera uh, the video camera you'll notice uh, shoots in a portrait or a landscape mode let's just uh, bring in a, a few little props here so at least we've got something nice to, to record okay or watch the recording um, and that's uh, uh, an interesting to note here is that this recording was actually done using another uh, fifth generation iPod Nano uh, it records uh, digital video at uh, 30 frames per second at 640 by 480 resolution uh, using H.264 and uh, Syncavita .mp4 file extension Okay, so uh, it, it's quite simple. You uh, point your camera, and uh, it's a fixed focus. So uh, press the button, and uh, it starts to record. You can see the the, the numbers here uh, uh, as it, it records the time. Okay, when you're done, uh, you can just uh, press play and stop recording. So one of the interesting things about the the new camera is uh, the ability to apply. Uh, some of these uh, live special effects you can see there's a it's an x-ray function here uh, there's a sepia tone function a black and white function you've got uh, thermal imaging uh, the one thing to note about the thermal imaging this is all fake because um, if you looked at my hand you, you would certainly know that uh, uh, there isn't uh, that kind of uh, uh, heat signature to, to my, my palm okay there is a, a new cyborg function, uh, so if you like to pretend uh, Terminator 2 is chasing you somewhere, there is also the black and white uh, film grain, so that uh, gives you the effect of uh, scratches on the, the old cellulose. The security cam function uh, goes on the fritz every now and again. Uh, I think that's uh, quite typical of, of uh, CCTVs. Um, a function here called kaleidoscope which is uh, I'm not sure how we you you would use that uh, if it would be of any uh, particular value other than being cutesy uh, the mirror function if you wanted to uh, make someone look like they were had a twin and uh, bulge these are more fun house features where uh, maybe a, a skinny person would all of a sudden look like they had a, a pot belly a motion blur if you wanted to, to, to make something look like 